welcome again so in this video i'm going to show you about the new latest uh, vc dial release so if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching so as you can see that uh, recently uh, i mean ye yesterday only kumba like uh, release a new post on the vc dial form about the new vc dial version 12 released okay so you can download it from here i will make sure to mention this url on this video description so you can download it uh you can see the short list things like it has the open source version 15.6 with kernel 6.4.0 it has the php 8.2 asterisk version 18 with pj sip support so this is nice that they are you know like including the pj sip also with the asterisk it has the python 3.11 now included okay and it will also you know, like support the nvme drive as well and then yeah so you can just simply download it okay from here so if you just click over here it will start downloading this file as you can see vc dial 12.0.0.2 okay so i'm going to open my virtual box over here and this is the like virtual machine that i'm going to use so let me just um select the OS from here so this is the operating system that i'm going to use vc dial 12 and then ok and then start so this is the new version if you are familiar with the vc dial then you might know that vc dial uh, like 11.0.2 was not that successful because it was loaded with so much glitch and bug so this is my first time also i'm installing this uh, version okay so let's see so i'm going to use the install vcbox 12 and then hit enter the installation process is same as the vc dial uh, 9 10 and 11 okay so hit enter it's just simply saying that it's going to destroy all the data from your uh, selected drive so make sure you do not have any kind of uh, you know valuable or like important information on that so yes I hope this version is uh, works well because as I mentioned the previous version we see uh, 11 point 0 0.2 was not that um, successful actually it was loaded with too many glitch and bugs so I think because of that Kumba just released the uh, VC dial 12 after in this very short period of time after releasing the previous version so if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe and like this video i normally make this kind of uh, daily videos on my channels regarding all the issues that i normally faced when i started my it journey or the day-to-day -day issue that you might face okay so we are going to log in with the default user as you might all know root so it will be root and the password will be vcdil all in small letter i'm sorry yeah this is dial and then so over here it's saying as you can see it's mentioning that welcome to vcbox version 12 the initial configuration just take few steps so start and then over here you have to select your system um, language that you're going to use i'm going to select the english and then the keyboard layout you have to select okay i'm going to select the default and then okay and this is the license part so I'm going to skip it and then this is the time zone make sure to select the proper time zone that you want to do uh, have in your uh, server so I'm going to select uh, okay this one and then the password for your root user so this is the password you are going 
to use for your root account so make sure to remember it and have a strong password and hit ok ok now it's uh, restarting the network so it's going to restart that I mean it's going to restart the network services uh, simply it will stop and start it again okay so as you can see uh, it's saying that the over here it's saying that vcbox initial setup done restarting the network is done initial database initializing the database is done testing for internet connectivity successful so it also checked that if your system currently have the internet access or not and then it's saying that additional update might be available a general internet connectivity uh, to the respect risk has been detected a running update now would also include new recommended packet uh, packages which may be unique uh, to your hardware or a host would you like to install the updates now so if you wanted to download you can just simply install it normally we do like the zipper up okay but over here it's saying that you can simply install it after first boot actually so it's currently trying to retrieve the update from the respectories actually okay so as you can see the updates are now installed so i'm going to simply put the ip address of this um, server so i'm going to type yeshtlan and then i'm going to edit okay so i'm going to enter a static ip over here so it will be something like uh, this okay next now we are going to assign the dns so i'm going to use the this one and then lastly the gateway okay so okay that is my router ip actually local ip so i'm going to select okay and now it's going to take few seconds to write this changes on your nic or your network card okay it's done so now um, i'm going to reboot it once so make sure to reboot it once um let me just remove the iso file from here because our operating system is already installed so we don't need that and let me restart this once again okay now it's booting okay now we are going to enter the user id root and then the password for it that we have entered that time okay we are inside of the uh, vcbox 12 now so now you have to type so if you want to do use this for a uh, like a single server then you can use the vcbox express or if you wanted to use as a cluster then you can use vcbox install so i'm going to use the vcbox services so this is the command that going to install the vcbox services so hit enter okay now it's asking that uh, do you want to continue with the vcbox express install so you have to enter yes and then uh, press the enter key again now uh, it will do all the uh, like configuration by its own you don't have to make any changes over here so just wait for few minutes okay so it's uh, installed now so we are going to reboot it one more time okay so it's uh, installed now and as you can see the ip address over here so let me just open the browser actually so i'm going to type the ip address 
that I have entered 59 if I am not wrong sorry 54 okay 54 and then hit enter okay so now it will ask you to enter the ID and password it will be 666 and then it will the password will be 1234 okay now it will give you the uh, basic information and you have to make the changes over here so click over here and then it will ask you to change your password let's say I'm going to renew the password with this uh, so and then this is the default registration phone password so make sure to put a strong password okay and this is the default phone login password and this is the default server password so this is just a server that I have installed on my virtual machine that's why I am just entering password like this but I always suggest to use strong password to prevent any kind of security issues and then hit submit okay now you have to enter the new password that you have entered and hit enter okay so obviously it will say you do not have any permission but this is how you have installed the vc dial uh, the latest version 12 so just simply go to the 66 because if you click anywhere i mean let's say call notes it will say you do not have any permission if you go to the servers and then open it it will say you do not have any permission so by default this particular user don't have any permission but you have to allow it to simply go to the users and then select this user scroll down a bit from here you can allow whatever permission you like or you want um, normally what I do I just click from here and allow all of this like this which cover most of the permissions actually that you normally need so you can either do it or you can just simply follow as per your requirement and then submit now if I go to the admin and then servers it will let me check all the details from here so that's all for today so if you still watching this video please subscribe the channel and like this video thank you for watching again and have a nice day